This video is um, about Pythagoras' theorem and how to use it. Pythagoras' theorem can only be used in a right angle triangle. Um, the longest side of the right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse and um, it's always directly opposite the right angle. So when you're doing Pythagoras' theorem, the best way to identify which side is the hypotenuse is to um, spot the right angle and then go diagonally across from it and the arrow will point at the hypotenuse. So Pythagoras' theorem says that if you square the two shorter sides, which are called A and B, and add them together, then you get the square of the longer side. So the square means the number times itself. So C squared is C times C, whatever C might be. So let's look at some examples. So in this first one then, um, we have to find the missing side and the missing side C. So the right angle in this triangle is down here. So... If we go directly across from it, then we can see that C is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So that means, to use Pythagoras' theorem, um, we're just going to do the straightforward theorem and we're going to write down C squared equals 4 squared plus 3 squared. doesn't matter which way around you put the 4 and the 3 in this one. So if we work that out, 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16, and 3 times 3 is 9. And then you add those together and you get 25. So to find out what C is, we do the square root of 25, which is 5. So C would be 5 centimetres in this example. In this second example then, same situation, we've got a right angle triangle. If we go directly across from it, we see that 15 is the hypotenuse. So in this triangle, we already know the hypotenuse. And we're actually trying to work out one of the other two shorter sides, the A or the B. So to do this, it's almost exactly the same. The only difference is when you're finding A or B, instead of putting an add in your equation, you put in a subtract. And that's because the longest side squared, take away the other one, will leave you with the one that you're trying to find out. So to write that down, we'll write, we're working out x squared, and we're going to do 15 squared, put the biggest side first, take away 13 squared. So if we work that out, 15 squared is 225, and 13 squared is 169. And if we work that out, um, we get 56. So to get x, we're going to do the square root of 56. Um, that's an equals. And the square root of 56 is um, seven. It's a decimal, 7.48. And it just keeps going. So if I was going to round this to one decimal place, I'm just going to write 7.5 because the 8 means that the 4 gets rounded up to a 5. And again, that's going to be in centimetres. So here's a quick summary of how we do Pythagoras' theorem. First of all, identify the hypotenuse, and that's by drawing the little arrow across from the right angle. Um, then you identify which side you're trying to find out. So are you trying to find out the hypotenuse? If so then yes, you are trying to find out the hypotenuse. You add the squares of the other two sides and then square root the answer. However, if you're not finding the hypotenuse, if your answer up to this question up here is no, um, then you subtract the squares of the other two sides and you always put the biggest one first and then again square root the answer. So for both, the process is pretty much the same. The key thing is identifying which side you're finding out and if it's not the hypotenuse, you subtract. If it is the hypotenuse, then you add. Here's one last um, question. It's another way you can get asked it, which is in a problem. You'll notice it doesn't say use Pythagoras' theorem anywhere. You have to work out to do that yourself. So we have to work out how long the length of the ladder, well, this is supposed to be the ladder here, against the wall is. And you can see we've been told this length and we've been told this length. And together, all three of those sides actually make a right angle triangle. And the right angle in the triangle would be down here. So if we're going to identify the hypotenuse, we draw our arrow straight across. And this side would be the hypotenuse. So it doesn't have a letter, so you can call it whatever letter you like. I'll just call it H for hypotenuse. And then you say to yourself, okay, so are we finding out the hypotenuse or are we finding out a shorter side? We're finding out the hypotenuse in this one. So if we're finding out the hypotenuse, then that's going to be an add. Um, add the other two sides. So it's going to be H squared is 1.5 squared plus 2.6 squared. And if we work all that out, 1.5 squared plus 2.6 squared on the calculator gives us 9.01.
So h is going to be the square root of that. And if we square root that, we get um, 3.0016. And it just keeps on going. And I'm just going to round it to one decimal place. One decimal place means cut it off in there. There's a zero after it. So it's just going to stay as 3.0. And this one was in meters. So our answer would be in meters. And then you can check, does that make sense? If this was 2.6 and this was 1.5, this has to be longer than it and um, it is longer than it, it's 3, so that makes sense.